Elon Musk has structured his companies to learn and improve over time, similar to how a baby learns to walk by trying again and again, building strength and using different approaches. Aspects of companies can learn just as humans do. Tesla was founded in Silicon Valley, where the mantra "fail fast, fail often" first originated. This doesn't necessarily mean to fail, but instead, it's alluding to the idea of rapid iteration. Consider Elon Musk's SpaceX. Which had been attempting to launch its Starship rocket, but for the most part, the rocket kept blowing up. The team investigated the cause of the issues and either fixed the issue or designed them out completely. Of course, a part that doesn't exist can't fail, as Elon Musk always says: "The best part is no part. The best process is no process." SpaceX then flies a new rocket to see something else break and fixes that. Eventually, the rocket actually succeeds to land without an explosion. However, that's still not good enough. SpaceX sees this as a stepping stone. The rocket needs to fail, and so they run the same rocket again until it does fail, and all of its weak points can be discovered and understood, and so that in the end they're left with something solid and robust. Now imagine if the time between each iteration could be shortened instead of weeks or days, down to minutes or seconds or even milliseconds. This can be done with software, and is exactly what Tesla is trying to accomplish with its full self-driving or FSD capability. Every Tesla vehicle has been fitted with eight cameras and other sensors, which have been collecting billions of miles worth of data over the last number of years. Tesla's FSD system started learning first by watching humans in the background and building its data set. When the system became good enough. To try driving, it did so under human supervision, and when it failed, the human driver intervened to correct the behavior. This exactly mimics how humans learn. Tesla sends these intervention events and camera recordings back to its central servers in order to further train their back-end machine learning models to try and improve the behavior, and then they update the software over the air in order to repeat the cycle. Within the last few months, Tesla has released a beta version of full self-driving to a small subset of users. This beta version appears to be a leap above Tesla's previous FSD, but we've only seen a small sample size thus far. I was in a beta self,、uh, full self-driving vehicle. I、uh, think there's a、um, there's a, something out there that you can watch on our YouTube.、Um, I was very very impressed.、Um, the guy took off from a parking lot. Which basically indicates kind of like level five,、um, but I would say it's a solid four right now.、Uh, full self-driving, I think, is going to be just around the corner. The new system's underlying data structure is what Elon Musk calls 4D or four-dimensional, meaning that Tesla's neural network analyzes 3D space over time and can process video data directly, compared to the previous version, which looked at each camera image frame by frame. Multiple times has Tesla delayed releasing this feature to a wider audience, but Elon Musk recently tweeted an upcoming and clearer timeline for this to hit the masses. While there could be more delays, not only is Tesla planning to release the FSD beta version 9.0 likely around the end of June, along with a subscription service, they're updating the current full self-driving service now with an update set for around mid-June, and they're also doing it with Pure Vision. The software will be transitioning to Tesla Vision, which will rely on camera sensors only and do away with the radar. New Tesla Model 3 and Ys being produced will no longer need or have radar. Tesla's Model S and X will continue to have radar for the time being. However, Tesla has said that it will transition to Tesla Vision for those vehicles as well. This likely has to do with updating the manufacturing lines to modify the front bumper area and stop putting in the radar systems. This will also cut costs of the radar hardware and the installation, and it makes sense to make the change where it has the most impact first. Now, this move has caused an explosion of speculation and has raised many questions. With the biggest one being, how can Tesla possibly remove the radar? Upon rollout, Tesla will be limiting auto steer to a maximum speed of 75 miles per hour. This was previously higher at 90, and they're adding a longer minimum following distance. Smart summon and emergency lane departure could also be disabled. Now these are both temporary changes, and I think it's always good to err on the side of safety when rolling out new features. Once the rollout is successful, I think everything will be re-enabled once again. There are three main sensors that experts believe are necessary for self-driving cars: cameras, radar, and lidar. 
The rest of the auto industry has been focused on adding in LiDAR, while Elon Musk has been talking smack about LiDAR, predicting that the industry will eventually dump these types of sensors. He says anyone relying on LiDAR is doomed. Tesla's director of artificial intelligence and autopilot vision, Andre Karpathy, called LiDAR a shortcut during Tesla's Autonomy Day presentation. He says, it sidesteps the fundamental problems of visual recognition that is necessary for autonomy. It gives a false sense of progress and is ultimately a crutch. While LiDAR devices have come down in price from the tens and even hundreds of thousands of dollars, they're now in the thousands of dollars range, but will still add major costs to the price of a vehicle. In a past conference call, Elon Musk stated that even if LiDAR was free, Tesla still wouldn't add it. Looking at the comparisons between radar, cameras, and LiDAR, LiDAR doesn't actually do anything that doesn't already overlap in the camera and radar charts. One reason that Tesla considers it a crutch is because you can't actually drive a car with just LiDAR, and so if the LiDAR and cameras disagree, which system do you trust? The main problem with LiDAR is that it can't see external light or colors. It works by outputting a certain frequency light in many directions and measuring how long it takes for each of these light beams to bounce back, creating a three-dimensional image of its surroundings. But the only light it can see is its own light that it transmits. Given that the driving system relies heavily on visual cues and on reflected light and colors, LiDAR is missing the majority of the data it needs in order to drive. Cameras, however, simulate human eyes, which are proven to work. Tesla's old partner, Mobileye, which ended the partnership in 2016, claims that it has both a camera-only system and a radar and LiDAR-only system. They say that this provides true redundancy. However, this makes no sense. There is no such thing as a radar-lidar-only system that can drive. Neither radar and lidar can see colors. They can only see shapes. Therefore, neither can see traffic light colors, nor can they read the words or symbols on any sign or on the road. That means it can see speed limit signs, construction signs, pavement signs, somebody holding a sign. It also can't tell the difference between a large animal and a large animal-shaped garbage bag floating in the wind. The ability to classify objects using LiDAR and radar is severely handicapped. Mobileye then states that the camera subsystem is the backbone and the radar LiDAR subsystem is added to provide enhanced safety. So clearly, they are not independent, nor are they redundant, as is claimed. Redundancy can simply be achieved with multiple cameras, meaning if one of the cameras fails, the other can take over. If the camera fails in a Mobileye vehicle, the LiDAR radar configuration is not sufficient to take over. And so this is why Tesla has a problem with LiDAR, and Elon Musk is no stranger to LiDAR. He spearheaded the project to have SpaceX design its own LiDAR system for connecting the Dragon spacecraft to the space station, but thinks it's not just useless, but a negative for autonomous vehicles. But why haven't any other companies dropped LiDAR? I think it's because they literally have no other choice, so they're stuck fiddling around with a technology that has a dead end. Tesla has a big advantage in that they've collected billions of miles worth of video driving data, which they can feed into their machine learning algorithms to improve and learn. Other players don't have the kind of data that Tesla has, so they're stuck with the approach of trying to map every lane line in the world and are using LiDAR to position the vehicle in the center of the road lanes. Their camera-based machine learning strategies are therefore highly lacking. And now Tesla is going a step further with pure Tesla vision. And so Tesla is now applying the same logic that it used to rule out LiDAR to radar. Removing radar will decrease weight, power usage, cost, definitely cost, not just the price of the radar itself, which could be hundreds of dollars, but the time and machinery it takes to install it and to support it via hardware and software. Again, the best part is no part, the best process is no process. Now, radar has two major advantages over cameras that Tesla would need to compensate for. The first is that it can see through the elements, inclement weather such as heavy rain or snow or direct sunlight, and the second is that it can accurately calculate distances to other objects as well as their relative velocities. Radar also doesn't care if it's daytime or nighttime, but cars have solved this decades ago with headlights. Also, one piece of hardware that Tesla updated, which sort of went under the radar, are Tesla's new ultrasonic sensors that can now see nearly twice the distance as before, about 8 meters or a bit over 25 feet, and this creates sort of a force field around the car, especially helpful for parking. 
Ultrasonic sensors can detect distance by bouncing sound waves off of objects and measuring how long it takes for the signal to bounce back. Similar to how radar works, but with sound instead of electromagnetic waves. So if something that was invisible to the human eye approached the vehicle quickly, Tesla can still take action. Each vehicle has 12 ultrasonic sensors around the car, and so perhaps this upgraded distance was to help compensate for removing the radar. But people are confused about the removal of radar because they believe it will be unsafe in bad weather. However, if you go through the logic here, if the cameras are covered for any reason, the car can actually rely on the radar anyways in order to drive the car. The radar simply returns a low resolution point cloud of what's in front of the vehicle. It's not suitable at all for driving. It would be like trying to navigate around with your eyes closed, but using your phone's proximity sensor. If the weather is that bad, such that the wipers aren't able to clear the vision path for the cameras, then it's likely unsafe to be driving anyways. And so the radar doesn't really serve much of a purpose in this case. The vehicle's tires would still need to have traction, otherwise it doesn't matter which sensors you have in the car if it's out of system control. Distances to other objects on the road and the relative velocities is an important use of radar and even LiDAR for autonomous driving. However, Tesla has patented a way of estimating object properties using visual image data. This means that with cameras alone and machine learning algorithms, Tesla is able to determine how far away an object is or how fast it's going, looking at just the video or images. And up until now, they've also been able to use the radar's accurate distance measuring to help train and verify their machine learning models such that now their cameras don't need the help of the radar and they can not only determine the distances of objects, but also label and classify them automatically according to this patent. Tesla states that the collection and association of auxiliary data with vision data is done automatically and requires little if any human intervention. For example, objects identified using vision techniques do not need to be manually labeled, significantly improving the efficiency of machine learning training. Instead, the training data can be automatically generated and used to train a machine learning model to predict object properties with a high degree of accuracy. So they've basically created a digital version of LiDAR without needing the actual hardware. And there are research papers showing how distances can be estimated using just single images, not even using triangulation between offset cameras, but by using machine learning techniques. Tesla also needed hundreds of employees to help label and identify objects. Andre Karpathy has spoken in the past of what Tesla internally and somewhat jokingly calls Operation Vacation, where if the system can classify objects automatically to be fed into their training algorithms, the system essentially improves on its own and everyone can go on vacation. It looks like Tesla has made huge progress on that front, but really this patent helps to deal the final blow to both LiDAR and radar. And before I forget, stop using Yahoo Finance, stop using Google Finance, and check out our website themarketisopen.com where we have instant stock quotes and financial data going back 10 years and it's all freely available. Now, the removal of radar shouldn't come as too much of a surprise as even a few months ago, Elon Musk tweeted that Tesla was planning to go with pure vision without radar. This is the way to real world AI. And this makes sense because the camera strategy has to be extremely powerful no matter what other sensors you layer on top. The default system is the camera and the backup system has to also be the camera. There's no other sensor that provides the types of rich detail and properties that cameras do. So Tesla is going all in on cameras and perhaps in the future they will upgrade to higher resolutions. But for now, people keep speculating that Tesla will eventually add LiDAR and instead they got rid of the radar. Now there is a chip shortage worldwide and some are speculating that this move is supply chain related. While it definitely frees up parts of the supply chain, it looks like Tesla Vision has been in the works for a long time, especially as the aforementioned patent was filed at least a year and a half ago. So even if there were no supply chain issues, Tesla Vision would still be inevitable. What's funny is that Consumer Reports, which has never reflected the views of actual Tesla consumers, says that they've tested Tesla's full self-driving capability and have had nothing good to say, calling it unreliable in various circumstances. I think they're a little late on their test, however, as they've used an old version which is just a week away from becoming obsolete. Why don't they do a test on Windows 3.1 and let us know what their made-up consumers think about that? 
Consumer Reports also says that they've taken the Model 3 out of their top picks because of safety concerns related to Tesla's announcement of dropping radar. However, they are purposely causing confusion as they have yet to test the new system which hadn't yet been released and are making decisions that they will likely need to undo. Another concern that was brought up on Twitter was this radar trick with bouncing the waves off the ground underneath the car in front to effectively see two cars ahead. And Elon Musk replies that it's likely one of the five forward-facing cameras would have been able to see multiple cars ahead. That's possible, but I also think the reaction time of the machine learning algorithm is far greater than that of a human. There's this strange argument that humans have had millions of years of evolution to develop complex brains and eyes, and computers simply can't match that. But this is completely untrue. Consider the game of chess where in 1997, Garry Kasparov lost against IBM's Deep Blue in the first ever defeat of a world chess champion by a computer under tournament rules. Today's world chess champion, Magnus Carlsen, has a rating of 2875. The Stockfish game engine is ranked first or near the top of most chess engines as the strongest CPU chess engine in the world with a far superior ranking near 3500. Stockfish is capable of searching through 70 million moves per second, making it virtually unbeatable by any human. However, with just four hours of machine learning training, playing itself from scratch, Google's AI called AlphaZero, which only looks at 80,000 positions per second, almost 1,000 times fewer positions than Stockfish, is capable of completely decimating Stockfish. This is totally mind-blowing. In a 100-game match versus Stockfish, AlphaZero won 28 games, didn't lose, and drew the other 72 games. Of course, a game of driving in the real world would have many more possibilities, but as we can see with chess, the AI doesn't need to look at every single option, but instead would focus selectively on the most promising ones in order to become a significantly better driver than any human. That said, Tesla has finally decided to add driver monitoring to its vehicles, using the internal facing camera to make sure the driver is paying attention. This is something that Kama AI founder George Hotz predicted and last year bet $10,000 that Tesla would add driver monitoring before FSD is completed. He was clearly right, though I'm not sure who took this bet. Many media outlets and likely regulators have complained for Tesla to add this feature, and even Consumer Reports was basically begging Tesla to add driver monitoring for an extra layer of safety. Yet now that it's here, they don't seem to care. I think Tesla added driver monitoring just so that they can remove it later when full self-driving is ready. Going forward, Tesla is planning to unleash its next level Dojo supercomputer, basically a data center built up from custom machine learning chips made by Tesla, and learn from driving data similar to how Google's AlphaZero trained by playing itself repeatedly and learn from its successes and failures. With this type of AI processing and computer level reaction time, Tesla Vision will soon become the AlphaZero of driving. So what do you think about Tesla's decision to remove radar? And how much longer before Tesla Vision is better than a human? Let me know in the comments if you have the FSD package or would purchase it in the future with a Tesla. Please hit the like button and subscribe for more Tesla research and content that really means a lot to us. A special thanks to all of our patrons that help to support our channel. Your support helps us to continue to make great content. Thank you guys so much for watching.